Faculty, respected guests, family, and friends, welcome. I'm ecstatic to be able to share such a special experience with each of you. Commencement, the beginning of another chapter in each of our lives, signifies our past four years of commitment, hard work, and friendships. Each of us has had a unique and moving experience at Wittenberg, the place where we have learned to pass our light in different ways. Some of us have excelled in academics, others in athletics, and some in both. What is crucial are the lessons we have learned from each other, since they are what we will take beyond Wittenberg. What we may not have realized, other than the distinguished liberal arts education we earned, are the friendships, out-of-classroom experiences, and challenges that have helped define us. When I first arrived at Wittenberg for a campus tour, I was not positive Wittenberg could be my potential home. The last thing I wanted was to walk in a blistering cold snowstorm. What always stood out though was the welcoming feeling I had inside. I barely knew anyone on campus and somehow still felt as if I had known them for a while, like a close friend. After being here for four years, passion, concern, and care made me realize how much Wittenberg has impacted me. I would stay up late in the dorms, not sure if I should walk down the hall and talk to people, but the first time I did, I realized I would be fine here. It just so happened that my future family was right down the hall. Like me, I am sure all of you have had times when, we, when you would gather with your friends or roommates to discuss problems or concerns on our mind. Typically, the issue would be minor about disagreements between girlfriends and boyfriends or stories about being challenged, being challenged in the classroom. The real challenge came, though, without preparation. One evening, a close friend came over disgruntled, nervous, and uncomfortable. All I recall is her extreme disappointment about her mother who had just passed away. I was shell-shocked. What was I supposed to say? Hope everything's okay? I'm sorry? At this moment, I realized the maturity level and seriousness required when attempting to cope with a significant loss. <clears throat> My roommates and I sat down, remained calm, and thankfully were, were able to find stability during an unstable moment. While recognizing the joy of friendships, I began to appreciate the deepest times of sorrow. Aside from my family at Wittenberg and at home, I've been able to meet a diverse group of individuals, all with a plethora of values. These have been the people that have taught me right from wrong, good from bad, moral from immoral. A variety of perspectives is necessary when contemplating these intriguing aspects of life. By working and studying with various friends, I was consistently challenged to move my standards to a higher level. This was something that I was familiar with in high school football, working harder to improve and earn more playing time. At Wittenberg, though, the challenges came inside of my classroom, from my fellow classmates. Each day, we would try to come up with new solutions to logic games or complete syllogisms faster than the previous class. Instead of the professor instructing the class, students would set the standard working to solve truth tables in front of the class and proving that they could solve problems better than my classmates and I. No longer was I focused on just obtaining a superb grade. Instead, I wanted to compete and learn as much as I could embrace. What I have learned is how powerful and beneficial education can be when students work to help one another and further their individual perspective. More specifically, friends are essential when learning about any topic, providing not only support but an answer or solution that may have never been considered. Fellow classmates, thank you for raising the bar and continually striving for excellence. Faculty and staff, professors, mentors, thank you for taking the time to help shape our lives. Often, I have overlooked the many influences you have had on me and others, and today, I am thankful for you never giving in when assignments or work was strenuous or difficult. From multiple visits over a single paper in English 101 to figuring out my life path through my wits end, I will never forget your dedication. Learning to work with complex data, write case briefs, use SPSS, formulate well-developed thesis-driven papers would have never been possible without my political science professors. Wittenberg strives to maintain excellence, a value highly cherished and stressed throughout the political science department. All of our professors at Wittenberg have moved each of us in a direction that has prepared us for this new beginning. Commencement is the beginning of the next chapter in our lives. 
some of us still looking for jobs and others hoping to find anything to assist in the repayment of loans. But what makes things so hard for everyone is not that we are leaving. It is realizing how much passion we have had for the last four years on this campus. Many of us packed up from home four years ago, maybe from across the country, maybe from across the world. We left the only people that made things comfortable for us, our families, and took a chance. We took a chance at a place that I have learned to call home for the last four years, learning what we might have to confront outside of Wittenberg. Surely paying bills, cooking dinner, and cleaning up after ourselves have all additionally been a part of our education. What I have come to realize, though, is that education has no boundaries. Each moment we have spent on and off campus has furthered our knowledge and experience, instilling an education that is incomparable. Although we may have not realized it, when we are outside of Hollenbeck, Carnegie, or the Science Center, our education is significantly advanced. We learn to handle a variety of social situations and experiencing what Springfield has to offer. My experience through volunteering with an organizational organization titled Think Tank positively pushed me to engage with members of our greater community who are less fortunate and struggle to meet their basic needs. Just as we have been a family of tigers for the past four years, I strongly believe that we are all part of a greater family, the Springfield community. Attending Big View meetings and discussing the conflicts surrounding payday lending was a minor task for me, but a huge help for others. Just like other Thursdays when Big View would gather members in the Springfield community to discuss issues or concerns, I was ready to help in any way possible. The evening of April 24th was different. Shelly, one woman who was brazen, brave enough to tell her personal story, explained how she was afraid to walk inside of a bank. She discussed how intimidating walking into such a large, open building with people dressed up standing behind a tall counter could be. At first, this surprised me and sounded silly because I had always been in and around banks throughout my life. I struggled to come to an understanding of how such a common and ordinary place, a bank, could be so intimidating for another person. As she explained more of why she was afraid to go inside, I began to look at banks through another lens. I soon realized that if I had lacked money, a stable job, lived paycheck to paycheck, life would be quite different. After discussions, presentations, and multiple group sessions, Think Tank has rendered a social circle between Wittenberg students and the community. Quickly, the Wittenberg bubble is beginning to fade away. No matter how negative you may think a particular situation has been, I am confident that it has been a learning experience. Often, we lose sight of positives arising from a negative experience, failing to count for some of the most critical life lessons. Earning a low grade, failing to attend class, or even falling into trouble with the law might be negative, but they all provide an experience that sticks forever. Finding light during these times allows for any challenge, large or small, to be overcome. Wittenberg has been the place where my friends have become my family. My professors have become my family. We can all agree when we leave Wittenberg and begin this new chapter in our life, our family will always be here. So whenever you are not feeling the best, don't think you can push further or feel like luck will never come back, remember what your family has taught you. I've learned to live every day as if it's your last, keeping every door open and seizing every single opportunity that crosses your path. I leave you with a quote from Dwayne Michael Carter. Yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery, and today is a gift. That's why we call it the present. Thank you.